Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So there's a couple of things that uh, I want to show you here before we get started. The first is apparently uh, the attempts that uh, Smoke Jaguar had, um, or uh, sorry, Jade Falcon had attempted to get Ironhold back. Now it's controlled 100% by Clan Wolf. And they're gone off this planet as well, the planet that we're on. It's controlled by Smoke Jaguar, so, you know... It's what ha can happen in 24 hours in real time. So yeah, I don't even know what to say. Wolf is like taking most of the planets around here now. There's not too much that's not Wolf. Um, maybe the maybe Jade Falcons will bounce back again, but I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, so we're gonna pull off a mission on this planet, and before we do that, we're gonna have a look at the mech bays. So I made a couple of adjustments. Um, so. The cougar took some damage in the last episode, um, so I did a little bit of refitting on this guy, and I want to use him as a, more of a long-range platform. So I put two large pulse lasers on this guy. Um, fire control system, system energy. Um, he's got the uh, tracker sensor sensors on him for plus one accuracy with the range weapons. So he should be a pretty good long-range pla long-range platform. Now the heat sinking is actually really good if you could take 12 off of that for. Um, the two flamers that we have in that we're not going to use all that often, but um, we're at uh, 72, 73. So that's really good for this guy. So he'll be able to hit people from long distance. Um, we also got plus one accuracy for the enhanced imaging and stuff, plus four initiative. So we'll have some pretty good shots here from a distance. So that's what the Cougar is going to be used for. And then I redid the Storm Crow Prime. And we were talking about putting pulse lasers in this guy, which is exactly what we've done. So we've got the ER medium and the three medium pulse lasers that came out of the Cougar. So that this came, oh, is going on this guy with two micro pulse lasers and a tag. We we're running almost completely heat neutral, uh, pretty darn close considering the micro pulses won't be firing all that often. Um, and what we did is we put the DNI cockpit in here, um, which gives us reduced damage taken, which is good, plus three initiative. I'm not really worried about the melee accuracy and stuff because we're not going to be meleeing all that often, or probably never. But uh, the virtual reality piloting pod gives plus one initiative, plus two maximum evasion as well. Uh, so that's going to be good. We still got the TTS plus weapons. We were able to add an exchanger, so we're running pretty much heat neutral on this guy. And we're going to use him as a fast strike mech. I think this is a good upgrade for this mech, um, considering he's going to be on the front line most of the time. And that's pretty much it. I don't think I really changed anything else in here. Everyone else just sort of got their... their um, armor repaired, the Nova's still the same and everything, so we're going to jump into a battle right away here. So let's go to the command center and look at the contracts. And there's not much we can really do here at the moment. That uh, We could do bi biological sample level, but that's against Jade Falcon and we're refusing to take any missions against Jade Falcon for obvious reasons. Uh, but we are going to take repossession, I think. Uh, one and a half skull. It's about it's battle against the local government uh, against, for heavily armored vehicles. So we might get some salvage out of this. We're okay till the end of the month, um, so we're going to go full salvage on this one and hope we get something interesting out of this. Uh, it's unknown if we will or not, but uh, we'll go full salvage just to see what we can get and accept this. They will be with a Lance and Max too, so we might get lucky. Okay, so let's deploy and get this done. Alright, here we go. Ah, yes. Standard map for doing this mission. Alright. So... Could go down the left side here. We could go down the right side. They usually have their reinforcements come in from up here. So... Let's head down the, right, the left side here. So I know we're running with four mechs right now in the mech bay. Uh, I had a look because I was concerned that if we do lose a mech we could have some issues. But um, I brought one of the Jenners forward, the one with uh, eight missile um, hard points. And just to see how viable it would be um, as a backup mech. And it's actually quite good. I can I can load up um, uh, the all the streaks we have. We have one streak six. We have two Streak 4s and a Streak 2. I can put all of those on there with the two tons of Streak ammo with case. 
uh, and it would still be a viable platform. Max damage would be 128, which isn't a lot, but still, it's still a viable platform if we need to go to a different uh, layout if one of our mechs gets completely destroyed. So, um, hmm. I'm going to wait for a second here. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. When don't we have hostile contacts inbound? Okay, so their vehicles are pretty darn slow. Most likely this is all vehicular lance. I'm hoping for some good mechs. Scorpion LRM, no big deal. Enemy detected. Okay, another vehicle moving. Waiting for order. Uh, let's still reserve. I don't mind taking a little bit of hesitation bonus, or hesitation loss there. Gorgon. Another guy moving somewhere back there too. Alright, I think we're good to go. Let's see what we got up here. Thirty-nine percent chance to hit. Yeah. Such a huge difference with this guy now. Alright, we're gonna fire everything. Although you can't tell, the disco light show didn't do so well there. Uh, we can't move in with you yet because we're being blocked. So let's reserve. Aye, aye. Luce, let's get into here. Understood. Moving fast. And fire everything. These guys are going to be fully armored. Fully armed and armored. Quick stepping in. Acknowledged. Waiting for orders. Good to go. All right, our long range fire support. See how we do here. Seventy six percent. Yeah, these guys. This, I think I think this is a good layout for this guy. Taking the shot. Nice. Vehicle trash. It'd be nice to have that guy behind us to do a lot of damage to the enemy. All right, we need to get um, some evasion chevrons going here. So let's get in behind this guy. Oh, we got somebody else over here. Jedger. Uh, I don't know. I think we take this guy, if we can. Okay, good start. Oh, there's your target right there. Okay, what do they got going on over there? So that's a mech. That is yeah. definitely a mech. See if we can clock out this second vehicle. Um, let's go that route, I guess. Leave off one ATM-3, fire the rest. God, not even close yet, eh? Okay, fire support. What do we got here? Vedette, okay. And firing. Nice, three hits. Stripping this guy's armor off. Wow, you really splash that everywhere, eh? Thunderbolt, two street fours, plasma cannon. Don't know if those are like AC twos or AC fives or something, or no idea. Where are you going, buddy? We got some good initiative here now too, though, so that's good. 
Ooh. A little bit of damage. Don't say things like that. That's how we get killed. Lots of evasion on our Stormcrow here now. Plus the Warfare Suite in here. It's making it make it really hard to hit. Okay, at least the tag missed. Very important. Riding the red line now. I think we need to stay in the trees. Okay, what do we got here? Jenner RX, Arinia. Okay, well. So, what do we have to leave off here? Medium ER? Sure. Fire the rest. There we go. Acknowledged. I think we need to target the Arrhenia. Oof, running really hot in this planet now. 17%, not good. J. Edgar, 50. We'll go after the vehicle then. Copy that, Commander. Okay. If we can get the other two guys on them, maybe we can take them out. We're slowly dropping in firepower though because of the heat. Man, we can't afford to get a hit from that guy. Yep. Got it. Okay, let's get in the woods. And we'll just fire one on this guy. Get a bit of heat back. Okay, two hits. Not bad. Moving out. See what we can fire on this guy. Um, let's leave one medium pulse off, fire the rest. Ah, not too bad on that guy. Significant amount of damage on his side, he should die next turn. I don't know if they're only traveling with two mechs. It's supposed to be a lance, but we'll see what happens. Good luck, man. Protected by the warfare suite. I wanted to get the mask in this guy, but just wasn't possible. There's no reason to think we need to close with these guys. Let's see if we can finish up this G. Edgar. Going with all the mediums. There we go. Okay, that guy's gone. But that's next. I think we're going to try I'm there. Um, make sure everyone's under the ECM bubble here. If we can knock out the Vedette, um, then we can leave if we get into any trouble. I don't think we will. I mean, now that I said that, the Arrhenia can still take one of our heads off with that PPC, so or one of the two PPCs. So we've got to be very wary of that. don't think he can actually see us now, now that we've moved back here. That warfare suite is very sweet, I gotta say. <laughs> Pun intended. Okay, good. Now we can get out of here if we have to. Well, that's one less vehicle, Commander. Um, you don't even need to be close. Let's fire them both. Fire. 
Wow. It's hoping for at least two or three hits there. Commander? Coordinates received. Let's fry this guy. Can't do it. All right, gonna go this route. Yeah, we're out, of, we're out of the ECM bubble now. Good thing those um, PPCs have damage drop off. Yep. Move into position. Just gonna fire one. And here we go. Oh, we missed with one of them. Inflicted some heavy damage. You most certainly did. Let's get in here. Uh, leave the micro pulses off. Fire the rest. Let's get Ducci into the mineral field. On it. Get some heat back. Okay, Griff, time for eyes on. Um, sure. Okay, we got the tag on him. Reading you. Double time. Let's go. Let's push him and make him worried. Firing four. Roger. Aye, aye. Copy that. Getting into the mineral field for a little bit of protection. Can fire two. Here it comes. So I think turning that guy into a long-range fire support at this point in time is a really great idea. We've got our guys up front here, really great evasion, um, really great defense with their ECM suite. He just doesn't. He just needs to stand back. There's no point in moving in unless he absolutely has to. Okay, let's get up here. I haven't used any HE yet, so let's use some of that. Wow, trans drops huge, eh? But uh, let's just use the regular ammo. Better chance to hit. Fire it all. Yes, Commander. Uh, can we get up there? We can. Moving at full throttle. Full throttle. Here it comes. Firing. That leg's got to be gone now. No. Really. Okay, can we drop the micros and put on this guy? No. Leave the micros on then. Fire. Nice. Alright, I think we're ready for two and two, two and a half skull missions now. Alright. Payments increased by 30%. We made 72,000. Most of that's going to go right into our bank, which is great. Got a little bit of arm damage, but not much we could do about that with because of the PPC. Overall, I think we'll take very, very little in our... Uh, oh, can't get a full mech, but pretty close to getting one of these guys. Not that it makes that much difference, but still. MML5s. I'm just thinking for if we build a Jenner. Small X-Pulse. 18 heat, 12 damage times 3, bonus accuracy, it's only 1 ton, right? 1 ton. More SRM4 streaks. 3 tons each. They're not clans though, so there's no point. Endo steel, no point. Um, Rainmaker. Minus 15% heat generated from missile weapons fire. 
That's really interesting. Don't know how often we're going to see that, so I'm going to drop it in there. We've already got these guys. Uh, another double heatsink kit. We could take that for cash. Now this is a cockpit mod, right? Yeah. Mm, sensor sniper. Increase sensor range, sight range. Possibility, another uh, weapon mount. We want to take that. Uh, warfare suite, we've got one in a mech right now. We could take it for backup. Um, MML NARC. Streak SRM. We've got two tons of this already, so we don't need any more. TDM. Increased chance for crit. Huh. I don't have any use for that right now. I think we can pick up another Warfare Suite without a problem. Double heatsink kit we could take for cash. Um, or the XL engine even. Still the same price roughly. Um, maybe we do that and we use it for jumping. Because we got to move to a new system. So let's... Yeah. That's 2.5 mil, and this is 2.5, right? Yeah, either one doesn't matter. NSS is how much? 600,000, so nothing. Warfare Suite's not even that much. 1.2. All right, well, let's just grab uh, XL. <sighs> yeah, I think, we, I think we made out okay. This is for later on. Weapon mount we'll be able to use sooner rather than later. Let's confirm this. Ooh, two more Arrhenia parts. Nice. We can get one pretty soon. LRM-10. These are all sellable. Um, yeah, thermal bolt ammo. I don't know if we'll ever use that, but hang on to ammo. Ooh, a lot of stuff changing hands. Okay. 15,000 and four days for repairs. It's really nothing. Grinner and Nova took damage. That's it. So let's have a look then. Who can benefit the most? I think the Stormcore Prime probably. We could pull out the micro pulses to put in the uh, arm mount. 10% firing arc. Give us another plus one to hit with the uh, weapons on this arm. It's going to cost us a ton though. We could take out the tag. I think we're probably going to leave it. I don't think we really need it right now on this guy. Cougar, do we have anything we can drop out of this guy? If we had to. Well, we could drop a flamer because we're not really using them. We could drop both flamers actually. So let's do that. We're probably not going to use the flamers ever. So let's find the. Where are you here? A weapon mount. Let's drop it in this arm. Pull out the flamers. Don't need them. Whoops. Why did. Is it only half a ton? It's half a ton. Okay. Pull out one flamer. Actually, you know what? Let's look for... Um, I think we got our... Yeah, we got our micro pulse here still. Let's drop that in. Put it in the arm. Yeah, might as well. It's only 7 heat. This is 6 heat, right? 10 damage, 10 heat. Yeah, flamers don't really do much heat damage, but these guys could do a lot more individual damage. So let's go that way. It's only one day. On Alright. Uh, contracts. See if any contracts shifted here. See if we got anything new. Uh, doesn't look like it. Clan wolf contracts, which we don't want. On guard. Well, we've already gone up a little bit with these guys here. Uh, we're liked. Plus 5% job pay payouts. Isn't that awesome? Pirate organization. Yeah. I'd rather go up against the clans. Cease and desist. I don't want to take anything low. Let's go then and have a look at the star map. See where we can go here. There aren't really too many places in clan space. So if we hit F2 here, we'll be able to see the smaller the dot, 
the uh, easier the planet. So this is a one skull planet. This is um, one and a half owned by Wolf. 23 days, two jumps, three jumps, and 15 days. That's half skull, 28 days. Hell horses. It's controlled by clans, Clan Wolf though. This is Wolf as well. Hell's Horses. 21 days, two skull. Launderholm. I think that's our that's where we're gonna go. Actually, what's this one? Hellgate. Two and a half, 29 days. I don't want to take that long a time. But I think once we're here, take a few on this planet and then head over here. Fight Clan Wolf. I think we'll do that. Let's just check here. Let's go to the store. Let's sell off some stuff first before we jump. We should be okay cash-wise. Um... Where is our, just a regular XL engine, we'll sell that for 325. And I think that's pretty much it for now. Do we have any IC engines or anything? Don't think so. Doesn't look like it. Nope. Okay, so yeah, let's go that route. And we've got enough. 29 days, how long will that be? That's two, that's one financial report. We could, let's go to the, well, let's go to the two skull planet, let's just make sure. Um, yeah, let's do that. We'll jump over there now. So I'm really hoping for some, this is what, one, two, three, four jumps. So 100,000. So I'm help, hoping for some more missions against Clan Wolf. Not only that, I want to take definitely missions against the clans more than anything. Upgraded lounge is complete. So we got steady morale now, which is good. I've been informed that, I, and this I didn't know, is apparently morale will affect the um, the events that happen. So if you have bad morale, you could like lose, pilots might leave your uh, your group. So we're at steady right now, which I think is pretty good. Um, We'll work on getting some more a little later when we have a bit more funds, but uh, let's keep going. I'm kind of, I'm kind of glad I was made aware of that because uh, I didn't really think too much of morale, but uh, mm, let's talk to Shogun about the warning. Yeah. I was like, I mean, you could delete the message, but I prefer talking to the pilot just to see what they have to say. I think it just shows respect for the person. If you hear a bad guff about him, you just say, hey man, heard somebody said some bad crap about you. What do you have to say about that? Because you're not, you're not taking a stance one way or another. You're just asking them. It's always better to ask somebody if you're not sure. Reached, Arrived at Launderholm. All right, and yeah, not a whole lot here. I'm sure this will change. Uh, we're not going to sell anything. So let's go to the contracts. See what we got going on here before the end of the month. Ooh, looks like we got some good ones here. Nice. So let's have a uh, quick look at our mech warriors. See if we can uh, raise some skills up. And looks like we might. We're getting close to it anyway. So blockade. Um, I want to give him the called shot bonus. Uh, and view distance because he is at range right now, but I would rather have him uh, be able to pick off people that are hit like on the ground. So we're going to give him cloud shot bonus. El Duce, we're going to leave for now. Um, we do have his maximum evasion up, but I do want to get uh, his gunnery up. So we're going to wait for the next mission for that. Uh, Griff, I think we're going to go. Hmm. Stability damage. We could go for minus 5% heat generation. Injury melee resists. No, I think we're going to wait for gunnery on this one. I think we're going to bring Griff up in gunnery. We're going to head straight for Warlord, I think. 
Uh, Mockingbird is our hit and run tactician as well. We're going to give her gunnery and confirm that. And we'll leave the rest of the guys for now. So let's have a look at the contracts see what we've got here. You hopefully have something good. So letter of mark uh, for Clan Hell's Horses. Local band of brigands. Uh, humanitarians. Lance and Max rescue has gone missing. Assistance. Nah, I don't know. Settling a grudge is Diamond Shark uh, versus Hell Horses, eh? Yeah, those horses. Wow, we're on Martian terrain. Better keep my eye on that. Badlands. That might be a better one to choose. One man's art. Um, uh, system religious police. Propped up by foreign Wolfian agents in Wolfian territory. So this is a two and a half skull against Clan Wolf against two lances. It's tempting. He does his own stunts. That could be tricky, but that's against Hell horse, Hell's Horses. Hide the evidence. Destroy base. Pirate black site. Two and a half skulls. It's good salvage. Good sea bills. Show of force. So this is actually not that bad. The prisoner. It's an escort mission. Allies and Clan Wolf. I don't know. I don't think we're ready for uh, a three skull escort. I probably could do it. I'm just worried about losing stuff on my mechs at this point. So let's wait till we get something a little better. I think I want to go two and a half, two skulls. So let's drop back here and see what we got. So settling a grudge um, against clans, hell horses, it's a battle. I think we take this one. It is against the clans, two skull. Uh, most likely only one lance, but it could be two. So let's negotiate this. We're going to go full salvage because of course we are. And we're going to deploy and get this sucker done. All right, here we go. Oh, God, I love this map so much. So, most likely we have two lances. Second lance coming in from back here. Let's use this hill here as partial cover until we move in. Uh, it's we got some good speed, so hopefully we can get up behind the hills here. Stay hidden until we can move in. We certainly got the speed, getting the Dust Devils over here. Gotcha. Now, I don't think they should be able to see us with our uh, Electronic Warfare Suite and the Stormcrow. Now, I toyed around with the idea of putting that uh, Void Stealth System in the Stormcrow, but it just really wasn't needed at the moment. I think if, if things get trickier and we get hit a lot more, then I think I'll work a way to get it in. Uh, the one thing I'm finding limiting about the Clan Mechs is... Like, you can't lighten the engines, you can't change the gyro out. Um, I mean, yes, you start off with, you know, an XL Clan engine, you start off with a light gyro and everything, but it's not like you can lighten the engine in any way. The engine has to stay the same, unfortunately, so you're kind of limited to what you can do there. Um, but that being said, I'm not going to complain too much. All right, let's reserve. I'm going to reserve it right back. What do we got here? Locust. Standing by. Copy that. Grinner. Yeah, they got reinforcements. So the reinforcements usually move first. Okay, Griff. Bust the knob. Um I don't want to engage right away. I want to flank. So let's drop around this side. A white. Okay, we got to try and target that guy if we can. Standing by. Mockingbird. Yeah, I don't think they can see us. Got a sneaky suspicion they just can't see us yet. Yeah, we're going to hold off. 
we're gonna hold off with everything but move back here it's nice to know we could we could fire at them if we wanted to but we don't have to yes commander blockade on the other hand affirmative 33 percent we're gonna only fire one That's fine. Didn't add any heat, so we're okay. Here comes the locust. We're gonna play this extra careful here, I think. We wanna wait till some of these prime targets move in. Either the Grinner or the uh, the, right um, the white over here. So we can just try and wreck them instantly. Ah, Firestarter 2C. Okay, he's our first target. Just because he's so darn close. I heard one vehicle moving. Comes the Grinner. So we most likely have eight targets. Shit, he can see us. Okay. 60's not barely hit. Okay. So it looks like we're, I think we're up against seven max in one vehicle, if I had to guess. And get eyes on this guy. Had to go through the radiation, but not much we can do about that now. Uh, I'm gonna leave the micro pulses off, save a tiny bit of heat. Okay, got the tag on him. That sweetness. Yep. Blockade. Can we get on that guy? Can from here. Understood. Moving fast. Getting a swirly dues. Both of them firing. Got it. Nice shooting, man. Scored a critical hit. Okay, I want to try and burn through this guy's side real fast here and get rid of him. So, let's... Hmm. Move order received. Let's do it this way. Stay hidden. Uh, HE is going to give us the same, so we're going to use HE, I think. I want him gone. Okay, good. One less target. Okay, and then... Commander. Wow. That's shitty. That's a little better. Let's hammer this guy. Yeah, not bad. And then let's get up in the swirly dews. Rolling. I know swirly dews not really a technical term, but uh, it is in my lance. Okay, there's a vehicle moving over here. So maybe they got two vehicles. Sounds like two vehicles. I want this white, but he's got such good evasion right now. Um, Get us back together. 27-24. Wow. Okay, I think it's this guy. Gonna leave this one off, but we're gonna fire the rest. And go. Standing by. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I don't know. Let's drop back to here. There. Yeah, we'll leave one of the pulses off. Fire the rest. Nice. Enemy 
Eliminated. Guns off the field, boys. Guns off the field. Let's see what they do here. I want that Grinner to move in. I want the White to move in. Here he comes. I don't think he can see us back underneath this ridge here. Good to go. But he's made a choice, so... Let's help him out. Copy that. Let's help him out with some missiles. Um, yeah. Standard rounds. Man, I'm loving this. Being able to switch between these. Such a great idea. Kudos to whoever thought of it. Such a great idea. Man, I was hoping to do more episodes tonight, but my right arm is just murdering me right now. Okay. What are you guys doing? Now, I think we got a bunch of Grinner parts. Might be able to slap another one together. Get it repaired, hopefully get some gear off it, and then put it in the storage for now. I really got to start looking at the medium mechs we have. Because I want to start um, really targeting for mediums. I was really hoping to find some in this mission. Of course you are. Uh, that's a lot of missiles. Hmm. Uh, just gotta go with one, I guess. And fire. Nah, man. Okay. This guy needs a lot of love. We're overheating already. Um, well, I guess, you know, running through radiation kind of does that to you. I think that was a leg. Nope, that was an arm. Didn't hear him fall. What do we got here? Uh, Jenner. Really? Um, nope. Man, this medium ER. We gotta find just regular, uh, medium pulses. Well, there you go. And that, as they say, is that. El Duce. Yeah. So, uh, the comment, I love that comment. <laughs> with the, uh, when these guys meet up with, um, um, where am I going here? With the, uh, Night Witches. El, du El, El Duce sees Megasaur and it's like, right, El Duce. Megasaur. It would be a kind of a good face off, I think. All right, let's just shoot this guy and leaving the medium pulses off and dump the missiles into him. Ready for orders. Let's not move close to that guy, but just bring it, bring it down into side inside some good range here. Yeah, I can't go with two, unfortunately, but we'll go with one. I think even in this Martian environment, we're still performing quite admirably. Even if you think about it, we've almost almost all of my guys have run through the radiation at this point. Oh, thought I heard somebody jumping. We've almost all run through the radiation, so the heat is actually not that bad on these guys considering the weapons they're running. I got one more exchanger I need to put on somebody. It's most likely I don't I don't I can't remember if we've included one on the. Uh, uh, the Grinner or not, but if we haven't, uh, that's definitely where it's going. I need to get a tag on this guy. Okay, that missile vehicle didn't shoot. What if they can't really see us?
Puts us in good range. What do we got here? A Nova. Cool. Okay, we're going to try and maximize salvage off that guy. Ah, man. Really? Still? Alright, fire on these. We really got to shift uh, targets now from the Jenner to this guy. Let's get with him. Good, best range. Yeah. Um, fire three. Wow, good shooting. Good shooting. Yeah. Let's get on his side. Should be able to fire both now. Yep, and firing. Ah, I was hoping for one more hit than that, but I'll take it. Got exposed structure on this guy now. So he's jumping. Jump away, buddy. I don't mind that. Don't mind it at all. This white's going now. Wonder if he's going to move in and fire or if he's just going to retreat. Should be able to claim at least a few pulse lasers off this battlefield. Come on, guys. There's the Jenner moving. Trying to flank. I think the Rogue Tech guys should reanalyze the flankers because really it's just stripping them of a mech. There we don't. There's not really enough mechs on the field to get a good flank position going. Especially for the AI, because right now the Jenner's weapons are out of battle, right? So they've lost some firepower right away. You can do it. Players can do it. It isn't so bad, right? But when they've got a light mech that's like running around in circles, not doing anything at all, it's it's just kind of a miss, like they're missing a mech. Nah, I know I'm saying that. It's like, it's like, shh, the developers have made it hard enough as it is. But I'm just looking for more realism. I mean, technically you would kind of flank, but in this position, I wouldn't. You fall back, right? You don't uh, You don't send this guy up and try and flank. Not with these four guys here. Okay, if he doesn't... Waiting for orders. Yeah... Huh. All right, let's just move into here. We're going to switch these around. Uh, better chance on the Nova. 20%, but I think we're going to wait because we want to pinpoint damage him, I think. So let's go this route. We're just going to fire the lasers on him. Okay, we got one more hit. One more than I thought I was expecting. I didn't think we were actually going to hit him. Here comes those missiles. Very weak attempt at trying to hit the Storm Crow. Opponent pursuit tank. Okay, one hit, not bad. Okay, totally inspired. Didn't want to run through the radiation, but I think we have to for positioning. And gonna fire these. I think those were torso leg hits, maybe, I don't know. Can only use one large this time. He's got some really good evasion going. Okay, not bad. Commander. I know we're outside of our optimal range here, but um, I'm looking for side attacks. Firing. 
Should be close to taking that arm now, I think. Yep, not quite enough for the leg, but definitely enough for the arm. I think that's where he's got his large, um, where he's got his large uh, pulse laser. Comes to Jenner, I think. Yeah. See, flank completely useless. Good to go. It's just guns off the field for us. Jammed by ECM, eh? More chances to hit, I think. If we go this route, try and take that arm. Okay. That should ruin his heat sinking. And all his weapons are gone. Okay. So he's a stick now. Let's just clean this up. Nova F, eh? Ah, he's got some VSPLs in there. Or not VSPLs, uh, what are they called? Um, can't even remember now. You're shooting on the right guy, though. Good luck hitting. So I had somebody post a little while back. They're looking uh, for um, videos with mech builds. And my suggestion is just really to play around because... I mean, yes, there's right things to do and wrong things to do. Um, the correction of me, like especially in this version of Rogue Tech, uh, moving from medium lasers to medium pulse lasers has made a ginormous, and yes, ginormous is an official term, a ginormous difference in the effectiveness, effectiveness of my lances. Um, and I can't, I can't thank, um, I think it was Talendale enough for kind of more or less pointing that out in the earlier versions of rogue tech it wasn't s so bad but in this most recent version definitely the pulse lasers are the way to go streaks on the other hand it's really iffy because the amount of heat that a streak puts out for the weight is actually pretty good um so uh, streak six four and a half tons um so it's basically two medium pulse lasers. I would still go with two medium pulse lasers. It's almost, it's like twice as much heat, but um, the fact that you don't have to worry about ammo, um, and I find there's like more laser bonus items than there is for, like for, um, let's just get in here. There's more laser bonus items than there is for missile, I find. It's easier to, uh, to go that route. So I would recommend pulses over streaks. Um, But it's really just playing around with the builds, and you really have to start thinking more about ECM, um, more about your own probes, um, like being able to detect enemy on your sensors. It's just, it's far more, um, rather than just completely loading your mechs up with weapons, uh, you don't really need to do that anymore. I mean, it's help. It helps because you've got more, like more weapons firing. But uh, I don't think you really need to uh, do that to do that anymore. I mean, obviously, the more weapons you have, the better. But um, if you can't see your opponent at distance, then what's the point, right? I would rather have fewer, more accurate weapons than just a shit ton of weapons that can't hit a goddamn thing. So opponent pursuit tank, Ares fire support tank. Okay, so let's see what we got here on this guy. Actually, that's pretty damn good chances to hit. Uh, so we're gonna take it. Okay, we got the tag on him. Nice. Standing by. Coordinates. And I think I'm going to lay off the missiles for this one again. Until this guy becomes a really big threat. Um, we're going to really go after salvage off this Nova, I think. I'd love to have a second Nova. Okay, so they're down to four. 
they've lost the Grinner, they lost the uh, the White, the Locust, and the Firestarter. This Jenner is yet to do anything. So I don't know. I think we ignore him for now until we can take this Nova down. He's moving now, so. Nope, Jenner's coming in. See what I mean? This is his third turn flanking and he's done nothing. Right? It's wasted gunnery. I'd say if you can flank in one turn, maybe two, uh, while your units are taking minimum damage, then yeah, it's worth it. But if you can't, if it takes three turns to get around while your unit's under heavy fire, you're just wasting your guns. Absolutely wasting your guns. Unless it's got, unless you've got like four PPCs and you can get around the back of all your opponents. But, you know, if you don't got that, if you're a light mech and you, you're just using machine guns and like pulse lasers or medium lasers, there's just no point. Okay, what are you guys doing? What are you doing? Uh, maybe I'm just shooting my mouth off about these suggestions. If you, yeah, if you think I am, just drop it in the comment section down below. As most people will attest, I, I'm opening to listening to just about anything. If you don't like the way I'm playing the game, drop it in the comment section down below. I, I like I don't profess to be a master at this game. Um, I just really like playing it. So, opening to learn, learning tons of stuff to make my play style better. Let's go this route, and we're gonna try for this leg. Still dropping our heat a little bit, but not enough to do anything with these guys. So we're gonna fire this again. Okay, that looked like three leg hits there. Ah, it's not bad. Yep. Not bad. Got it. So we're gonna split fire on actually on this one. We're gonna shoot on him and him. And A is taking these guys, and B will take as many of these as we can spare. Um Yeah, we want H E. So what do you think? Yeah, use the pair of threes. This is fire. Splitting fire. Wow, nice shooting, man. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, sorry, my turn. Durr. Pick up a little bit of radiation. We we're running low there. Gotta pick a little bit up as on as we're heading over to this guy to shoot off his leg, hopefully. Yeah, I gotta leave two off. Firing. Ah, one hit, not bad. Might be able to knock him down here in a second. Let's get blockade over here. We should be able to drop two on this guy. Um Still got the radiation, eh? Sure, man. Let's see if we can take this leg with only one. Oh, one more. Yeah, man. We didn't get the leg. How'd that taste? Didn't taste good enough, man. Look at these. Like, oh, you guys have watched my my videos. How many times has that happened? How many times? Hundreds of times. At least it feels like hundreds of times. It's again, Jenner not doing a goddamn thing. Really? Thanks for coming out, buddy. Mm-hmm. So we're moderately surrounded here, but we won't be in a second. Two missile launchers and a laser. Two missiles, two lasers, and a tag, most likely. 
Yeah, he's dropping. Ares has got about the same armor. Wow. So probably a large laser if he's firing from over there, or ER medium. Oh, I guess if it's if he has screen, it's ER medium. Where are you going? Oh, okay. I want that leg. Yes, I do. I'm coming for it. I want that leg. Okay, another tag on him. Jeez. What do you think the chance is if I just plink him with some missiles from a distance straight on that I take both the legs? He's got lots of armor left, so let's give that a whirl and see what happens. Yeah, might as well overheat yourself. Thanks for coming out, buddy. Ready for orders. Hmm. I thought for a second there we were going to take his leg off. Scored a critical hit. That you did. Waiting for orders. Welcome to the match. Good angle. Fire. Yes, Commander. El Duce. Let's see what we get. Okay, I got the right leg. The left leg's barely got anything left on it. So we can easily pop that leg off. Nova parts. Let's hope we get some though in the draw. Wow. Thanks for coming to the party, buddy. Sixty four damage will not be enough. Target this guy. Let's go with all these. Wow. Nice. Okay. Orders. Confirmed. 
All right, here it comes. Solid connection on that one. He's going down, Jim. Standing by. I'm there. Fire four. Okay. Mech destroy. Commander. Moving out. Okay, we should be able to handle this one by doing this, this, and this. And A will get a pair of ATM sixes. Yep. Both legs gone. Maximizing salvage. Nicely done. Killed that guy. He's got to come back, I think, to be able to see anybody. Let's get on this guy and end this battle. Getting the swirly dues. It's a technical technical term for them. If you look it up in the uh, clan mechs pilot, piloting handbook, that's exactly what they're called. Use the swirly dues as much as possible. Yeah. Move into position. Okay, we should be able to wipe this guy out as soon as he shows up. What's up, buddy? Alright, hopefully we finish him off here. Firing everything. Well, he's defi definitely primed for death now. Finish him up. Alright, there it is, folks. Wow, the turret's flying through the air. Two skull mission, no problems. All right, there we go. Mission increased by 20%, more than enough to co cover our costs of a repair, which is really nothing. No internal structure damage again, which is excellent. Good experience across the board. Uh, lots of parts. We could get a Grinner here if we decide to take it. I don't know what's down below here. Um, lots of Nova parts. Let's hope we get some. ER large, ER mediums, scos, light tags, medium pulses. Um, Clan XL, that's a lot of coin. Fire control system energy, which we can definitely use. So if we take the Grinner, it's really just for parts. Laser AMS, that's pretty nice too. One ton. LRM Artemis ammo. Got to start thinking ahead now. What are we going to need? We could complete a Grinner and hope for parts. But I think what we'll do, definitely need one of these. Definitely need one of these right now, and we'll take the coin. There's going to be lots more missions we can get stuff from, so let's go this route. Okay, fire starter, two Grinner pieces, nice. And we got one Nova piece, which is good. Uh, we got the HA-20, 10 tons, regular medium pulse, yeah, or Artemis ammo, okay, that's good too. 
All right, so not too bad overall. All right, a few things changing hands. 59,000, yeah, well, not too bad. Not too bad. Took a lot of missile hits there, though. So, yeah, we're going to be going past our financial report, which is fine because we're doing well. So what I'll do between episodes is I'll get all our mechs uh, fixed up here. Stormcrow can definitely use the targeting computer, uh, the TTS energy. Um, so that will definitely be going in there for sure. We'll sell the engine. Uh, we'll get that done between episodes. And when we come back next time, we'll be primed for what, see if we can try a two and a half scholar. Um, we'll see what's in there again. And we'll take one of those. Uh, I'm feeling really good about the, la the uh, loadout of the Lance. Um, it performed well even in the Martian terrain, um, which next to a lun lunar surface is the ho hottest terrain. So um, doing really well in that regard. So, yeah, looking forward to moving up and grabbing some uh, uh, tougher mechs. Once again, the reason why I didn't grab the Grinner, once again, it's like a 35-ton mech. We've already got one. We've got four light mechs in storage. So, you know, there was no need for it. We're going to be getting it in parts. We're going to be facing a fair bit of them anyway, probably in the future. So we'll be picking up one in parts anyway. So there's no point in going for it now when we can grab stuff we can use right away. So that's my reasoning. Anyway, we're going to leave the episode there. If you like it, drop a like. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Also drop any comments in the comment section down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.